Okay, ladies and gents, today is part three of things you may or may not know about the freehand and brush tool. Um, and in this particular part, I'm going to be concentrating on brushes. So the first thing I'm going to do, talk about, is uh, selecting an existing brush and uh, changing its color. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to draw a line with the freehand and brush tool. And then uh, in uh, this drop down box right here, I can select an, an existing brush. And here you can see there are a variety of uh, brushes that uh, come uh, with Zara. And I'm just going to grab one. I'm just going to grab this chalk right here. And um, my line color is black. Okay, so this is, um, it's set to black. So that's what color this brush is. But if you want to change it, all you have to do is come in here and select a different color. I'm right clicking on the color bar on a particular color and saying set line color. And now all of a sudden my line color is this red that I've selected. Uh, I can change it again to another color. I want to change it to blue, set line color, and it's now blue. Um, okay, so that's it uh, on selecting an existing brush or changing its color. Um, now let's talk about selecting a stroke shape. Uh, I'm going to change back to the plain line right now, and I'm going to bump this up from the 19 to about uh, 24 points, making a nice wide line. So you can see the differences in the stroke shapes. Uh, stroke shapes are listed here in this uh, drop down box here. Uh, it's right now it's set to the, the main one, which is this constant, um, constantly solid line. So it's 24 pixels wide uh, throughout the uh, the line uh, and then you can choose any of these other ones to get different effects so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this iron and you can see from left to right you get a wider shape down to a more narrow shape so uh, that's what I got there um, on uh, this blip right I get a small shape going to a larger shape in the middle and then back out to a small shape you get the idea here this is not uh, rocket science it's just selecting a, a stroke shape and uh, and you get what you select. Okay, um, one note on that, if you were to extend the line, um, it extends the stroke shape over the entire line. So the longer that I make this, right, the middle part is still thick and the ends are, are, uh, um, are skinny. All right, so that's, uh, so that's that. Um, now let's talk about creating a brush. Now, this is an incredibly huge topic and I'm not going to cover nearly enough of it uh, to, to give you everything you need, but um, I'm going to try and cover a bit of it. Now here I have a, um, a scattering of shapes and I'll zoom in on them a little bit. Uh, these are just really kind of rough shapes that I, I drew really quick with a, with a freehand tool and then I gave them a a blue fill and a um, fractal plasma trans or fra fractal cloud cloud transparency. Uh, you don't really need to know about that a whole lot, but I just created a bunch of shapes. Going back up to page, and I've grabbed all of them. These are individual shapes, and I'm going to go back here. I'm going to say create brush, all right? And I'm going to call this uh, crayon two, okay? And then I'm going to draw a shape here, and I'm going to select crayon too. Okay, and this is the brush that I just uh, that I just created. Now on here again, I, my brush color is or my line color is set to black. Um, I can change that, but for right now, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Now this is all great, but that doesn't really look much like crayon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Edit Brush and I'm going to make a few changes to it. Uh, first of all, I want this spaced much closer together. Yeah, so I just change my, my uh, slider that way. I'm going to give it a bit of randomness. Yeah, and I'm going to say offset. Um, I don't want it on the line. I want it alternating to the right and to the left. And then I want the distance to be a bit. And then I want that quite a bit random. And then uh, scaling, um, I'll give it a bit of a random s scale. Uh, so this is the size of it. Now, rotation, uh, we definitely want to make that kind of random. Uh, transparency, I want this to be a bit transparency, about 30%, 35% sounds good. Um, fill properties, uh, I'm going to say 
click this for all uh, brush colors and uh, you can change some of these on the saturation and hue. Um, saturation doesn't do a whole lot because uh, this is black right now. Hue is not going to do a whole lot either uh, because of uh, the fact that it's black, but don't worry about that for now. And uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to, now I can either save as new and give it a new name and make these, uh, um, make, apply these changes to a new brush, or I can click save and apply the changes to the one that I created, which is called Crayon 2. So I'm going to do that, save and close. And now this is a bit too big. Uh, let's go with a, no, 24 is too small. Let's go with 32. That looks good, right? So now I have this brush and it kind of looks like a crayon that you've marked with. And if I want to go ahead and change my, uh, my line color, boom, I've changed my line color. Now I can continue on with this and color with my crayon. Yeah. Okay. So that's creating a, um, a brush with uh, vector brush shapes. Okay. And uh, that was some of the properties. Um, you can also click on this button, edit a brush to get, get to the properties anytime and, and, and change them back again. Okay, that's about all I'm going to cover on brushes for now. Um, I hope you found that useful and informational. Thanks for listening.